I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch, part of my class breakdown series. If you are new to LE and you need to be steered a little bit in the right direction as far as what you should play, I'm hoping this video will help you. And for today we are going to be focused on the mage. Now the mage has three masteries for it. You can be a sorcerer, which is what's on screen right now. And the sorcerer is a ranged damage dealing spell cast. It uses meteor, static orb, ice barrage, arcane ascendance, and black hole. And if you're one of those players that loves dropping just a barrage of meteors on an enemy, and also very starter friendly, source might be for you. They have the Spell Blade, and this is a melee class, but uses elemental damage. Very, very interesting. So if you like being up close and personal, the Spell Blade might be for you. You have Shatter Strike, my favorite skill for the Spell Blade, Flame Reeve, Enchant Weapon, Firebrand, and Surge. And last, and the newcomer for the Mage is the Rune Master. And this skill, this mastery is the most complicated, but also has the most variations. Its main skill, Runic Invocation, can generate 40 different skills. Yes, 40. It also has Flame Rush, Frost Wall, Rune Bolt, and Glyph of Dominion. So those are the three masteries, Sorcerer, Spellblade, and Rune Master. What I'm gonna do now is play the short intro video, and then we're gonna actually check out these masteries in game. Enjoy. I am the mage, raised in the scholarly city Welrin, and trained in the arcane arts. I became one of the elders. I took on an apprentice to whom I showed kindness and compassion. This was folly. She grew rebellious, entertained dark arts, and was exiled. My guilt over her fate drove me to leave Welrin. Years I spent searching for her, only to hear that Welrin was conquered by the sun god, Rye. Now I travel back to Welrin, determined to fix my mistakes. We are now logged into Last Epoch and we are at the training arena that has training dummies. And we're gonna be starting off with Sorcerer. Now, for this class, it's five skills. You have Static Orb, you basically shoot lightning or you can convert it to cold and it is as it says, it's a big orb that deals damage to enemies and you could make it circle around you as well. You have Ice Barrage if you wanna shoot icicles at people. You have Arcane Ascendance. I consider this like Archon mode for D3, but you can't move. So basically you like ground yourself and you do a ton of damage. It's a pretty cool skill. You then have Black Hole. This sucks in all enemies to you or to the Black Hole so that they can't move and does a lot of different things, including bomb enemies with Meteor. And then the last skill, Meteor, which is the core skill for Sorcerer and obviously pretty self-explanatory. You can drop multiple Meteors. You can drop Meteorites, just lots of different options inside of Meteor. Now, for this class in action, okay, we are currently at the training dummies and you can do some serious damage with it. Now, when you go into Archon mode, I am now grounded and I am doing super damage and you can still move with a movement skill, but ultimately as a spell caster class, and if you are new to the game, the source is a very easy to understand class that does serious damage, and it's just a blast to play if you are into ranged elemental damage. That is the Sorcerer. Moving over to the Spellblade. This is your Barbarian combined with your source to create this very cool and different mastery. Elemental attacks, but at melee range, so you're gonna be using weapons like swords on your mage class. Now, the skills for the Spellblade, you have Flame Reeve, this is a fire attack that hits for a cone in front of you. 
You have Enchant Weapon, and it's exactly as it sounds. When you hit Enchant Weapon, you have a 15 second cooldown. You get a big buff to your damage when you are in combat. You have Firebrand, and this is a melee attack that puts stacks on you, and then you can release the stacks, basically buffing another skill. You also have Surge. This is a movement skill that I will showcase that you can attack as you move. And then last but not least, everyone's favorite, I'm sorry, my favorite is Shatter Strike, which is a melee cold circle around you or kind of in front of you that attacks and hurts enemies. So those are the five skills for the Spell Blade. Now let's showcase some of these skills. Surge looks like this. Let me try that again. Hits enemies and attacks in front. Throws out a little wave. Throw up some fire brands for some stacks. Hit enchant weapon and bam. Look at that. Man, I haven't played this class in a long time. That's Shatter Strike. Very cool looking skill. Oh, I need to play. I need to play Spellblade more. Moving on to the last mastery, the Rune Master. Now, last but certainly not least, the Rune Master is one of the newest masteries that has come to Last Epoch, and I actually normally don't recommend it for a new new player because it is also the most complicated. But that being said, if you just want to start off in the deep end. Rune Master is going to be the way to go. Now, the skills for the Rune Master, you have Flame Rush. This is the movement skill. And you turn into a fireball or ice ball or lightning ball and you explode and you generate some runes. You have Frost Wall. This one's pretty self-explanatory. If you've played Diablo 2 like Firewall, you create a wall of ice that can do a lot of different things for you. You have Rune Bolt. This is your spammable spell skill that can generate a ton of runes. You have Glyphid Dominion. This is a lightning skill you put on the ground and it like builds up and then explodes. And last but not least, Runic Invocation. This singular spell can generate 40 different outcomes. It is unbelievable. And yes, I know it sounds complicated. You can get it as time goes on, but ultimately you have, I don't wanna say unlimited, but hundreds of diff different builds you can create off this one skill. Very, very cool idea. It is the Invoker, if you know that class. Now, for the Training Dummy, this is a hard class to show off because what I'm currently specced into is Hydra, which is basically kind of like, I don't know, a minion for the Rune Master. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show off some gameplay for this final mastery as we wrap up. All right, everyone, that's the video. If you are new to Last Epoch, I just want to say welcome. You have made a great decision in picking up this action RPG, and I'm hoping these class breakdown videos will help steer you in the right direction. If you have any questions whatsoever, join the Action RPG Discord. It is linked in the description and ask away. I do my best to try and get back to everybody who either DM me or ask a question in Last Epoch. Now, Two asks at the end of the video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 91 members that have signed up. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. You get access to all the exclusive content. It supports me and you have the ability to live stream audio and video with me. That is Patreons only. So that's all I've got. So much Last Epoch content will be coming soon, including the launching of our new Icy Vein site. So I'm done. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Erin, out. Thank you.